Okay, my Cornerstone buddies, this is Matt, Matt, Mr. Matt from Classroom 6, coming to you from Classroom 6. That's why I'm wearing my mask. Okay, so let me move my circle over here. And we're doing What's in My Wallet? Again, for December, holiday edition. Okay, so if you're going to buy something, you... Probably, you know, if you're walking around shopping, you probably keep money in your wallet. And, of course, your wallet would look something like this, okay? Opens up. You have credit cards and your license inside. You got a place to keep your money, okay? I don't have any paper money in there, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go. What our job is going to be is to... Look how much each thing costs. All right, like this right here costs ten dollars for a bag of canned goods. See how much we have in our wallet, and see if we have enough money to purchase the item. Alrighty, so it is your job and my job to determine if we have enough money to buy the item. So here we go. A bag of canned goods, again, costs $10, all right? And we have in our wallet $10, all right? So how do you make $10, all right? The most expedient way to make $10 for the purpose of this video would be to use a $10 bill. All right, so we have a $10 bill in our wallet. Okay, and to make the purchase, we need exactly $10, all right? So our wallet's going to be empty after we make this purchase, because <laughs> we need $10, okay? And how do we make what we need? Use a $10 bill, which is what we have in our wallet. So do we have enough money to Make the purchase of canned goods for a charity. You betcha. Alrighty. Now we are on to the second page. A bag of chocolate coins. You know those chocolate coins that you eat that come in the foil wrapping? Cost five dollars. Oh boy. It's kind of expensive, huh? All right, so it costs five dollars, and in our wallet we have seven dollars. Mm -hmm. So let's see what seven dollars looks like. Okay, seven dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is going to be a five dollar bill. All right, and as we zoom out, we're going to Put another one dollar bill next to the five, which makes six, and then another one dollar bill, which makes seven. Okay, so seven dollars looks like this you got your five, you can a uh, one, which makes six, and another one, which makes seven. Alrighty, then. Oh, <laughs> we're still recording, and I'm goofing around here. Hold on. Okay, so, um, so what? What do we need to make the purchase again? We need five dollars. Okay. So, in order to buy the bag of chocolates, we need five dollars. Yes, and what will that look like? Okay, that's going. We're going to take a, a five out of our wallet. And that will leave us with two one dollar bills left over. All right. So, do we have enough money to buy the bag full of gold coin chocolates? Yes. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> now, the next scenario is a set of candles costs. 
nineteen dollars okay nineteen dollars in our wallet we have twenty dollars what is the twenty dollar what does twenty dollars look like and in the interest of this video we're going to use the easiest amount to make twenty dollars with and that is a twenty dollar bill yay okay but the candles cost eighteen dollars nineteen dollars fourteen dollars nineteen dollars so how do you make nineteen dollars okay oh we get to zoom out isn't that lovely all right, to make $19, we need a 10, and then a 5, and then a 1, and then another 1, and then another 1, and then one more 1. Okay, so I zoomed in here so you can see what $19 looks like, and we have our 10. Plus a 5, which is 15, plus 1, which is 16, another one, 17, another one, 18, another one, 19. That's $19 right there. All right, so do we have enough money to buy the can? Um, it's the candles, right? Yes, to buy the holiday candles. Yes, we do. We have, nine, we have $20, which leaves us $1 left over. In the next scenario, a holiday ornament costs fifteen dollars. That must be one nice ornament. <laughs> All right, and in our wallet, we have thirteen dollars. Uh oh, let's see what thirteen dollars looks like. All right, so thirteen dollars is going to start with a ten. And then a one, and then another one, and then a third one. All right. Okay, and now I'm zooming in so you can see it. Okay, thirteen dollars is a ten plus a one is eleven plus a one dollar bill is twelve plus a third one dollar bill is thirteen. Okay. But the question is. If the holiday ornament costs fifteen dollars, is thirteen dollars enough to buy it? Mm -hmm. We need fifteen dollars. We need fifteen. Let's see. Let's make fifteen dollars. Fifteen would be a ten, and a plus one is eleven. Plus another one is twelve. Plus another one is 13, plus another one is 14, plus one more is 15, okay? So we have in our wallet $13, 10 plus three ones, but what we need to buy the ornament is a 10 plus one, two, three, four, five ones. So, do we have enough money to buy the ornament? No. Need two more dollars. All right. On to the next scenario. A candy cane costs 25 cents. Measly 25 cents. And in our wallet, we have... 50 cents. All right. How do you make 50 cents? Would you use one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, or four quarters? Make 50 cents, you would use two quarters. Zoom in and see what that looks like. Okay, so 50 cents looks like that. Two quarters. All right, so 
And what do we need to buy a candy cane? We need 25 cents, which is one quarter. Okay, so we need we need one quarter to buy the candy cane, and we have two quarters, so we have one quarter left over. All right. Whoops. <laughs> All right. So, do we have enough money? Yes. The next scenario. The next item up for bid, Johnny. A donation to charity costs 95 cents. Okay, that's not a lot. And in our wallet, we have one dollar. What does one dollar look like, you ask? Oh, we're using quarters to make a dollar. Ah. Are we going to use one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, or four quarters to make a dollar? And the answer is we're going to use four quarters. Zoom in and see what that looks like. Okay. One, two, three, four quarters makes a dollar. Okay. And what do we need to make the donation to charity? We need 55 cents, 95 cents, 30 cents. 95 cents. Let's see what 95 cents looks like, shall we? All right. 95 cents would be one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, plus a dime, which would make 75. I'm sorry. Three quarters would make 75 cents, plus a dime would make 85 cents. Plus another die would make 95 cents. Zoom in and see that. All right, so that's what 95 cents looks like up close. Okay, you got one quarter, 25 cents alone. Two quarters makes 50 cents. Three quarters makes 75 cents. Add a dime to that, it's 85. Add another dime to that, it's 95. All right. So, do we have enough money to make the donation? Yes. And we would have five cents left over, which is a nickel. All right, let's go to the next scenario. All righty. A package of lights costs eight dollars and seventy cents. And in our wallet, we have eight dollars. What does eight dollars look like? Uh, let's see. A five plus a one is six plus another one is seven plus another one is eight. Eight dollars. Let's zoom in to see what that looks like. Okay, so eight dollars. Five plus one is six plus another one is seven. Is the third one is eight, eight dollars. So, is eight dollars enough to buy the package of lights? No, it's not because we need eight dollars, eight dollars and seventy cents to buy the lights. We need seventy more cents. And what does that look like? <clears throat> Well, what does $8.70 total look like? Let's see. We have a 5 plus another one is 6 plus another one is 7, just like up here, plus another one is 8, plus you need a quarter, another quarter. 
a dime to make 60 cents and one more dime to make 70 cents for 870 in total let's look at that up close okay so 870 eight dollars and seventy cents five plus one dollar six it's another dollar seven it's another dollar is eight 825, 850, 860, 870. Okay. So do we have enough money to buy the string of lights? Package of lights. And that would be no. We need 70 more cents. On to the next scenario. Okay. A set of cookie cutters costs $5.95. In our wallet, we have $6. All right. What does $6 look like? You need a $5 bill plus a $1 bill. Okay. Let's zoom in and see that. You have your $5 bill. Plus one is six dollars. Whoops. Yep. Okay, so six dollars. That's what we have in our wallet right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And the cookie cutters are which one? Ten twenty, dollar twenty five, five ninety five, five ninety five. What does five ninety five look like? Let's zoom out. <laughs> Not my choice. Five dollar bill plus a quarter plus another quarter plus a third quarter plus a dime plus another dime. Makes five ninety five. Let's zoom in and look at that. Okay, so five ninety five. You get your five. One quarter is twenty five cents. Two quarters is fifty cents. Three quarters is seventy five cents. Plus a dime is five eighty five. Plus another dime is five ninety five. Okay. So, but we have six dollars. Is six dollars enough to buy the cookie cutters? You betcha. We have five cents left over. We have a nickel left over. Okay. I think we have time for one more. A toy donation. To donate a toy, it would cost, at this particular store, I guess, $19.10. In our wallet, we have $15. Uh -oh. What does $19.10 look like? Yowza. Well, that would be a 10. And then... Add a 5 to that for 15. Add a <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. We're looking to see what $15 looks like. My bad. Okay, so let's zoom in and see what $15 looks like. Okay, $15. A $10 bill plus a $5 bill makes $15. Okay. All right, but we need, what do we need to buy, make that toy donation? We need, which one of these? We need $19.10. All right, now the program is going to zoom us out. <laughs> to make $19.10, we need a 10, a 5, just like up here, and now we need more. We need a one, 
We need another one. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then we need a measly dime to complete that. All right, let's see what that looks like up close. All right, a 10 plus a 5 is $15, plus another one is $16. Plus another one is seventeen dollars. Plus another one is eighteen dollars. Plus another one is nineteen dollars. Plus a dime is nineteen dollars and ten cents. Okay. So, do we have enough money to make the toy donation? No. Let's see how much more we need. Okay. So, we need. Hmm, for some reason it's not letting me type in here. Hold on. Okay, we need $19.10. That's what it looks like in numbers. Okay. And we have 15 dollars. Ah. <laughs> Come on. All right. So if you subtract $15 from $19.10, you are left over with Okay, you are left with four dollars and ten cents that's how much more you need to make the donation four dollars and a dime okay well thank you for joining in cornerstone friends and next comes the song stay tuned okay cornerstone friends this is an old folk song Done kind of the way the Beatles did it. Okay. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my body to me. Bring back. Bring And brought back my body to 